everybody. I'm Al Bernstein, welcoming you inside the Toyota Music Factory here in Irving, Texas, where tonight we will have the Ring of Hope's Night to Fight, and it should be a great evening of boxing. And joining me to help bring it to you, my two broadcast partners, first of all, on my right, two-time world champion, Pauli Malinaji, and also Manuk Okopian, who is a fine broadcaster and writer in the sport of boxing. Now, tonight, one of the people we're going to get to see Pauli is Evan Holyfield, Evander Holyfield's young 22-year-old son, a former amateur champion who's making his way early on in his pro career. And it's not always easy, is it, to walk in the shadow of a famous boxer. You're right, Al. It's definitely not always easy. There are pros and cons to being the son of a legendary fighter. The pros are, you know, you're going to get all the attention that many young fighters crave, many young fighters want at the beginning of their careers or, th or throughout their careers. The cons are that you are going to be under the microscope almost immediately, and you're going to be judged by the championship status of your father. So let's see, we'll, we'll see tonight, we'll be able to judge the status of Evan Holyfield's progress. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to get a chance to see him, and Manuk, uh, the man he's facing, Dylan Carlson, believes this is a chance for him to uh, jumpstart his career. Yeah, here we have Holyfield, who was born into boxing royalty, and Carlson didn't get a start into sport until much later on in his life. He was a college football player at Southern Oregon University, and then he found the sweet science. Mm -hmm. So soon afterwards, he kind of got into the amateur ranks, and as seasoned as Holyfield is as an amateur, Carlson does not come close to that. But he, what he does have is the desire to take Holyfield's spot, put his name on the map by beating a touted prospect, and literally turning the, the tide as far as how he is looked at as a prospect. All right, we'll see how that all works out as we get our first view of uh, Evan Holyfield. Now, in our main event, two light heavyweights, Polly, in a crossroads fight, and one of them, Israel Dufus. Um, really, really needs a win. He's coming off a couple of losses. He's a very powerful fighter who is trained by a Hall of Fame trainer. Again, more pros and cons when it comes to Israel Dufus. You know, the 19-6 and six record can be deceiving. He's got 16 KOs. Big puncher. Mm -hmm. The problem is, he's got a bit too much going on outside the ring. He's got a great trainer in Freddie, Freddie Roach, a legendary trainer in Freddie Roach. But sometimes he spreads himself a bit too thin. A video editor, a model, a, a boxer. Mm -hmm. you know, shall we say he's a jack of all trades. He's trying to become a master of one. Let's see if boxing <laughs> is the one that he goes for. Yeah, that's for sure. And the man he's facing in this important light heavyweight fight, Samuel Clarkson, got to a shot at the light heavyweight title when he fought Demetria Bivol, but he didn't win. And now he's trying to work his way back to that kind of opportunity, and this fight is pivotal in that. Yeah, he could literally catapult himself into a contender status if he has a decisive win here tonight. Clarkson is actually shaping up to be a proper opponent for Knight to Fight because he embodies what the organization is all about. He grew up in the rough streets of Dallas and from the age of 16 to 18 was in and out of prison five times. So he really used boxing to turn his life around and now he wants to turn his career around. And a great win tonight would really put him back on the map as a fighter to keep an eye on in the division. And now let's take a look at the tail of the tape for our first match. Yeah, we have Tristan Kalkroth here who's a Light heavyweight signed with Golden Boy. This fight's actually going to be taken at cruiserweight. You know, Calcrith is an intriguing boxing prospect to keep an eye on as he matures into a man. He's only 18 years old, so the plan is for him to continue his career as a light heavyweight after this fight and then someday transition into a heavyweight once he's established himself a little bit further. How quickly that happens, it remains to be seen, but he's essentially fighting a heavyweight tonight. You'll, you'll see John Jackson shortly. He's a little soft in the middle, but look for Tristan to use his long limbs and power to punish the undersized Johnson tonight.